Hello and welcome to our little Edinburgh adventure and let's get started right away with something to do in this beautiful city that is perfect for 2020. I say instead of staying in any hotel room, why not get yourself an apartment in the city centre that screams Edinburgh. Organise some very Scottish snacks and drinks like salmon and whiskey obviously and have yourself a romantic lunch at home. Like this you are tucked away from whatever this year has thrown at us and you are still getting that holiday in Edinburgh feeling. I've put the link to our stunning apartment for you guys below. Cheers guys, this is to Edinburgh, my second favourite city in the world, just behind London. This is why and also this apartment is why. I love it here, I love Gurdj, but I also love Edinburgh. I don't know who I love more. <laughs> Cheers. Who is Gurdj, you are asking? Well, it's this handsome gentleman here next to me and this is us on our way to hike Arthur's Seat. Arthur's Seat is a viewpoint just outside the city center and here we are on our way down the Royal Mile, which takes about 20 minutes, and then up the mountain, which takes about 40 minutes. And here's Gurdj thinking, wow, I just love nature. <laughs> and the hike itself is a little harder than I thought, to be honest, but it's super beautiful and kind of gave us some Lord of the Rings vibes too. The adventure that I am, I'm taking this path somehow. <laughs> And the top is, well, very windy, extremely windy in fact. You can almost not stand up at all, but it's super fun. And I actually loved doing this as a couple because it kind of makes you feel like a power couple, like, wow, look at us, you know, we accomplished something. So yeah, definitely go and do that. Okay, last time we came to Edinburgh, we were talking to people from Edinburgh and they said, whiskey is only for old people. We disagree. Completely disagree. Let's go. <laughs> What do you think? Let me know. For us, you cannot visit Edinburgh without tasting whiskey. So we stopped by the Scotch Mould Whiskey Society for a very sophisticated tasting session. We tried three different whiskies. Gurch had the time of his life and I looked cool with my hat on and enjoyed the unique whiskey and I especially loved the names they had been given. The whole experience was followed by supper and it was awesome. It was honestly super informative and away from any whiskey tasting tourist trip on the Royal Mile, do recommend, link is below. Let's take a walk together, let's go to Dean Village and on the way I'll show you some of the most beautiful spots and Instagram photo opportunities in the city. This is one of them, this is Princess Gardens. And on your way to Dean Village you can spot some wild photographers <laughs> as well uh, on the hunt for their next prey, which could be a picture <laughs> of Edinburgh Castle. <laughs> Another photo opportunity you can stop by on your walk is right here and it is called the Venel Viewpoint of the Castle. And here's me twirling for the perfect picture. If you want to check out the final result, it is on my Instagram, which is also Sandy Makes Sense. This is Dean Village, maybe the most romantic place in Edinburgh and maybe one of the most beautiful and tranquil, tranquil places in the entire world. It's essentially a village within a city, super quiet, all you can hear is the river, birds and nothing else. Safety first, guys. <laughs> Here we go. And now let me show you two dining options that will impress. First, what looks like an enchanted little hideaway here is in fact one of the most romantic restaurants in Edinburgh. This is The Witchery and it's grand and candlelit at maybe only two minutes walk away from the castle. We had an old school romantic dinner here and enjoyed the food and the wine. I had a delicious truffle mash creation and Gertrude had some lamb. And because it is definitely on the pricey side, I'd say come here for a very special evening. This is Timberyard. In a way you could say that it's the complete opposite of the first restaurant because it's modern and minimalistic. Set in an authentic warehouse we decided to try oysters and here is what I thought. Mm, this is one of the first oysters in my life that I actually like. <laughs> 
I would describe the food as flavor intense, uniquely paired, and the restaurant as extremely cool. It's a little more affordable than the first one, and one of their specials is a set five course meal if you fancy. What is your favorite city in the world? Do let me know in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon on my next adventure.